Today I'm going to talk about four ways to range a target. First up, we're going to use map and compass. With the map oriented to where you're looking, first you mark your spot on the map. You can use a compass to shoot a bearing to your target. This will help if you're not sure of where you are in relation to the landmarks in your area or on your map. Since the satellite map has roads, we can use them or other landmarks to find where our target is. Then we can measure the distance between us and the target. You can use the scale on the map to convert the distance measured to real world distance. Our example is 1 in 10,000 scale, so every centimeter measured is 10,000 centimeters real distance. We can convert 4.6 centimeters to 46,000 centimeters, which is 460 meters between us and the target. Once you have your distance, you can put this data into a ballistic calculator to make your shot. Next is a GPS or a phone GPS app. Here we have a bank of targets marked on our GPS as waypoints. Once we're back at the spot we want to shoot them from, which could be a hunting blind, we'll mark our shooting position and then set an icon to represent it. Selecting the target waypoints, we can use the GPS to find the distance from our shooting point to the target. The places you mark could also be terrain features when you're hunting. You'll be able to get a quick range estimate on animals if you see them near some of the landmarks you've ranged. You can build a firing table and have your data ready for each distance when you need to shoot. Next, we're going to try using a well-known technique, the MRAD ranging formula. We're using a Vortex Venom MRAD scope so it's easier to calculate everything in centimeters. The MRAD formula is to take the target size in centimeters, multiply by 10, and then divide by the target size in mils. Using a first focal plane EBR reticle, here we can measure our target. Represented here is the target fitting between the 0 and 0.5 mils line, so our target measures 0.5 mils tall. Finishing the math, our 23 centimeter tall target is multiplied by 10 to 230. We divide 230 by 0.5, which our mils measurement was, and we get 460 meters as the distance to our target. We can use the measurement in our ballistic calculator and then get our firing solution and we can make an impact. Finally, and likely the most accurate method, is using a laser rangefinder. We have here the SIG Kilo 5K which can range targets up to 5,000 yards. You just point and shoot the laser and it gives you the range to your target and it can also show you the angle that you're looking at and adjust your range based on that angle. This one also has applied ballistic software and can calculate your shot for you which can save you time hunting or at a match. And that's all we have. <laughs>